Hi friends, this is Susie, your gaming guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 6321 in Candy Crush Saga, where we have 28 moves to clear out 54 crystal candies. So there's a lot on the board here. Uh, candy curls and frosting of various thickness, rainbow twists, licorice shells, but really all we need to do is crack open all of these different crystal candies. That's going to be my main goal. Unfortunately, I don't have a great opportunity to start hitting those, and I need to use some specials because just touching next to them doesn't work. So I'm trying to bring down some of these specials that are showing up here. It just takes a while to get anything. Okay, so this is good. We've got a striped ripped combo, and I'm going to make it reach all the way over to the edge here. That's where I feel I need the most work. Yeah, I'd love to get some combos, but I'm not going to wait around forever for those combos. There we go. Uh, let's try to get things together. I'd love a wrapped wrapped combo. That would be nice. How can I manage that? There we go. Wrapped wrapped has a nice blast area. Ooh, striped wrapped would be good if I can get it. I don't think I can, but I'm going to use the stripe. Hopefully a wrapped is going to drop down and then come over here. Oh, I was hoping it would also take off. That didn't quite work. So I'm just kind of playing around here, figuring out how this flows, and it, it feels like these dispensers are very stingy. So I'm going to have to create some of my own opportunities to be able to beat this board because waiting around for those guys, not nearly enough work is done. Let's see if I can do better than 19 crystal left by paying attention to each and every move. Okay, so here I can make my own wrapped candy. See how starting out with a different board can really benefit? Although look at this, I can do this. Awesome, except this is the only blue I have. Not worth it. I would be so much better off just taking out a color than using that. So there we go, we took out a color and that's okay with me. It wasn't a good situation. It looked really happy in the beginning but it was not going to be beneficial. So I'm bringing these wrapped all the way down. Here we go. Bursting through. I'm gonna creep through some of that candy. Now look at this, now I'm all the way down here. Now I can even access the bobber, which is good. The bobber can send out fish. I know I don't need to take out frosting, but of course, if I can remove the things that are in the way of the crystal candy, I think my life will be better. Let's bring a wrapped candy down. Oh, I can't get that stripe to match up. But what if I take out all orange from the board? That might match these. And taking out a color concentrates things down for me. Look at that, that looks better. So already I'm doing much better by paying a bit more attention to what I have on the board. I know I've got this guy. I should probably just go ahead and use it. The green would explode this, it would open this up a bit more. Plus of course we're taking out that green, so we're concentrating things down. I got all of the crystal candies cleared through here. Let's see if I can make something happen over on this side of the board. Here we go. Okay, so the crystal candy candies are cleared from here. Even though I don't have the frosting removed, I've done my work over here. But, of course, I'm going to go for that. And then I love this, taking out the orange, so I'm bringing this wrapped candy down where it's going to have impact on this board. It's tempting to think about all of the other things on the board. That's why we always have to uh, pay attention to what our mission is. Here, I'm going to blast through this frosting so I can get into this area. Yikes. I may not have paid enough attention to my various moves for the end game. Oh well, at least I did what I said I would, which is I got so much closer to completing it. I didn't do the part where I was going to pay attention to each and every move, but 
that's what another life is for. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the recording, come back with a new board. I'll have the microphone turned off until I have something important to share. I'm hoping to combine the luck I had that second time with more careful playing in order to access the win. See you in just a bit. Okay, so this is fun. I'm having a blast concentrating on these guys. I lost focus a little bit, as you can tell. I was busy doing something, and I wasn't concentrating on the actual mission. So I kind of moved over here when I was already done over here. But sometimes there's a good reason to move over here. If I can... There we go. I dropped this into a better position so it can attack here. All right, I thought that was fun. That was my fourth try. The, th the try that you didn't see, the only try you didn't see, I got extremely close. I was one uh, crystal candy away. And if I had played better, that's the thing. This one is beatable if you really focus on each and every move. But it's for me, it's a fast playing game. And so I allowed myself just to make fun moves instead of contemplating the best moves. So if you want to get past this and you're struggling, look at each and every opportunity. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to put those below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.